There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh. And when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and <laughs> you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Uncommon Taste It was published a few years ago became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Yes, Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion somewhere in Skyrim on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> But you'll fix that. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Reachman. Who are you? What do you want? The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Nightgate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then.
you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging. The salt place? Huh. Been here forever. Built by my great granda. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. Nah, not so much. The odd traveler on the road. But mostly just old full time. Come to drink away a lifetime of bad memories, I'd wager. Of course, there's the orc. Long term tenant, that one. For what he pays, I could afford to shut this place down. Him? Oh, uh, uh, name's, uh, Balablob, or, uh, Malaklob, uh, one of them funny orc names. Talks real good, though. Not a savage at all. Said he's a writer. Don't know what kind of job that is, but it must earn him some pretty coin. He's paid up for the next few months. He mostly just hangs about. Goes down to the lake. Sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. Man can do whatever he pleases, far as I care. Anything you need, just holler. It seems a certain orc has disappeared, which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid. Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now, you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. <laughs> <laughs> 